All right, guys, today in this video, we're going to be installing this uh, filtered water dispenser. comes with a filter that goes under the sink. Um, I recently did a video on installing this glass rinser, and I've had it for a couple of months now, and I love it. It's great for rinsing out wine glasses, whiskey glasses, um, even shakers. It, those refillable aluminum water bottles even fit on there, and it sprays them out. It's so convenient. Um, even if you're washing them, you can put a little bit of soap, like a drop of soap inside the glass and then just rinse it out there and it works perfectly. Love that convenience. So today we're installing this uh, filtered water dispenser. The water in my county is really bad. Um, half of the year it tastes like really, really, really chlorinated. The other half of the time it tastes like clay. Uh, it's just really not good drinking water. So we're going to go with the filtered water and hopefully save a lot of money on bottled water. Um, I just have this sitting here, but it will stall, install in any hole that you have above your sink. Um, it also comes with a little template for drilling a hole if you need to drill an additional hole, uh, but we're not going to be doing that. I had this here um, when I took the sprayer out because I installed this sprayer uh, faucet when we first moved in. So I didn't need the hand sprayer anymore. So I just had it plugged with this device here, but... We're going to be utilizing that hole to install this today. So this is the kit that I chose to use. It's from Waterdrop. I got it on Amazon. I believe it was $84. Um, it comes with this huge, here's my hand uh, next to this thing. So this thing is probably 15 inches tall, the filter. Um, it is a 15 micron filter. It's good for 19,000 gallons. So that's going to last me quite a while. Um, I believe it was $84. There was also a 10 micron one that was like $72, something like that. I'm like, hey, I don't mind spending the 12 extra bucks to get a little bit better filtration. Kit is really nice. It comes with a T-tap to go under your sink. Um, I'm obviously going to be installing that on the cold water side. And then it has the lines that go into the filter and then up to the dispenser. Um, comes with thread tape, mounting screws. Here's a nice little template to show you where to put your screws under the sink. And then here's that sticker I was telling you about uh, that will help you in drilling the hole that you need if you need to drill a hole through your countertop. Um, that we're not doing today. If you need to do it, I imagine you're probably going to need a diamond tip blade and a bunch of other stuff. Um, sounds pretty risky, but uh, if you're doing that yourself, good luck uh, drilling the hole. Um, and then it also comes with these extra fittings here. So let's get started. All right, so here we're under my sink. Um, that hole is right up there behind there. Um, just if you're not familiar with under sinks, this is the drain line for the dishwasher. It goes up and over. Dishwasher is right on the other side of here. Um, then you've got coming off your hot side over here. I've got one fill line going up to that glass uh, rinser that I showed you. There's a T line going over to the dishwasher. And then here's the hot water going up to the faucet. Cold water going up to the faucet there. Um, and that's the only tap off of there. So it looks like we're going to be tapping off of right there for our cold water, for our water filtration. Um, this loop going down with the weight on it, that's just the extra line for the faucet that pulls out above and it just has a weight on it to help it kind of go back down and not get tangled. Um, so I think what we're going to do is mount that water filter right here. I was thinking about mounting it on that back wall, but, uh, we will have to change the filter here and there. Um, probably not really frequently because it is good for 19,000 gallons. But just for convenience, I think we're going to mount it right here because um, I'm never going to have any shelves or anything in here. And all I keep under here usually is cleaning supplies. So we'll mount the filter here. We'll mount the, the pipe over there to the filler um, or the dispenser rather. And uh, we'll go from there. So step one is to find out where we're going to be mounting this exactly. Um, the instructions say to have a minimum of two inches of clearance underneath. So about like that. Um, in order to be able to properly change the filter. If you don't have enough clearance underneath, you won't be able to drop it down enough. Um, so if we mount it right about here, we still have plenty of room between the bottom of our sink in there. Um, and then we have all that extra space up there behind, beside the sink. See, you, we have about 12 inches to go up. So this is the outside right here by my thumb. And so we'll have a loop of that plastic uh, piping coming off the top of here and looping back towards the back of the sink. And what's nice is we'll have all that extra clearance above us right there to run that loop so it doesn't get kinked with bending it too tightly. So this looks like we're perfect right here. So I'll go ahead and mount the... Uh, the template sticker and we can drill our holes so that we can put our mounting screws in. All right, we've got our template stuck here exactly where I wanna mount the filter. Uh, the next thing we're gonna do is we're going to turn off the water and we're gonna get ready to put our T 
tap in there and get the plumbing routed up to the uh, the actual dispenser up here um, before we actually mount the filter because I don't want I don't want the filter to get in the way of me reaching back in there. Uh, so we'll run all the piping first, and then the last thing we'll do is we'll mount our filter and plug the input and the output into the filter itself. All right, I've got my cold water line disconnected. It's just right there. Got a kitchen rag down here to, to drain it. I opened up the cold water side of the faucet up above to let some air in and drain this pipe out so it's not dripping everywhere. I do have a small drip right there. I think that seat, that valve is not seated all the way, but that's not going to interfere with what we're doing today. So here's our new T-fitting. This is the side right here. You can tell by the arrow, that's the way the water is supposed to flow. So this is the side that's going to go on there. And give me one second, I'll unscrew it and show you. So I unscrewed this portion off of that T-fitting. Um, this portion is going to screw right on here. I'm going to put some pipe thread tape on there first, and then I'm going to screw this on there. And then this side will screw right onto here, and we'll be all set. All right, so um, I've got this fitting in here. Uh, you can see the thread tape. I got three or four wraps of it, just the thread tape that comes with it. Um, three or four good wraps on there and put this on there, torqued it really good. Um, what's, and then this T fitting is going to go on here next, and then I can connect my sink back to right here. Uh, but what's nice about it, it has this nice little quarter turn butterfly valve for shut off so that when you go to change your filter, instead of turning off this, uh, valve, you can just turn off this valve right here and isolate your, uh, filter so that you can change it out. So that's pretty nice. Um, so now I can connect this whole thing on here and then I can, uh, connect my sink fitting right here back to right here. So we're gonna do that next. All right, so we've got all that hooked up. I've got, uh, we used thread tape on this fitting here uh, and reconnected everything there. So everything is snugged up there. The next thing we're gonna do is route our um, output side of our filter. So it's gonna be coming from right here on the filter. It's gonna be going up to our tap up there. So we're gonna do that plumbing next and then we can hook everything up to the filter and we should be right about ready to go. Now we're prepping our plumbing on the dispenser side. So I've got this here. You, you notice we have quite a bit of threads here, which is great for like thicker countertops. My countertop is about, it's, it's thicker than usual. Here, this is the island right here, but I, I bet you that's like almost an inch and a half uh, there, maybe inch and a quarter. So it's nice that they have that much threads to account for like thicker countertops, great. So what we're gonna do here is we're going to thread this nut on first. And then once we slide it down in the hole, this little clip will go right in here like that. And then the nut will tighten up against that little clip um, and that'll tighten everything up. This clip has rubber on one side to keep it from sliding around. So that rubber side is gonna go up. Um, and then it also has an O-ring here, which is really nice built-in O-ring so that any liquid you get on the countertop is not gonna seep down underneath your cabinet. So that's really nice. Um, and then once we get that on, we are going to put this coupling on here. It's gonna go just like that on that nipple. And then our tubing goes on the other side of that. And then once we get it locked in, you'll feel it kind of click when you push it. Um, once we get it locked in, then these little clips go in between the light gray and dark gray areas there. You can see a little gap, this little clip will push in there and that just prevents it from um, rattling loose from vibration and stuff. You know, sometimes when you turn on and off your water, you have some vibration in the pipes. So that clip just keeps everything nice and tight there with that coupling. So we'll do that and then we'll slide this whole assembly down inside the sinkhole and we'll tighten this nut up from underneath to get it nice and secure. And then it's just a matter of plugging our uh, filler and our, uh, well, I guess, the dispenser line into the filter. All right, so that's in there. The clips are installed to keep the thing nice and tight. What's nice too, uh, these tubing comes with a pre-marked line. You can see that one barely visible there. Um, it just shows you uh, how far to insert it to make sure it's properly seated. So that's kind of neat that they pre-marked that on there. So now we just slide this whole thing down inside that hole and then this clip goes on from underneath and then we'll uh, tighten this jam nut up from the bottom and we'll be secure. All right, I wanted you guys to see what it looks like under here. So we've got that installed really securely. There's what it should look like underneath. It's nice and snug. I like how it fit that um, on the bottom of that black clip, that rubber, it keeps it nice and snug in there. Um, and I did, you can see how, how many threads. It looked like I had a lot more threads, but once I got it through the countertop, 
there's only about an extra quarter inch of threads on there so i'm glad that they allowed that much threading to go through the countertop because i needed almost every bit of it so that's what it looks there and then of course up top looks nice and snug i did have someone help hold that in place while i tightened underneath um so you may need a helper for that um unless you have some freakishly long arms which would have to be like five feet long i think so yeah get a helper to hold that in place while you tighten it underneath okay um so now i've got one line coming from that it's going to go to this side of the filter here um i'm going to cut that longer because i've got like an extra three feet here so i'm going to cut that uh shorter so i don't have a bunch of extra lines i'll probably cut this side too um I'm going to be using like a box cutter to do that, but you guys can, you can use anything you want. Just, um, I wouldn't use like uh, side cutters or scissors cause you don't want to crush this line. So whatever you choose to cut it with, use something that's not going to, um, crush it cause you don't want a little crack in the line when you go to push it in. So I'm going to trim that up and I'm also going to mount this filter. So I've got my screw, my mounting screws in. I just used a small pilot bit, uh, much smaller than the actual shank of the screw itself. Um, just to give it, I am going into press board here, so I didn't want it to crumble or anything. Um, so I, that that helps you uh, get your screw started, and it also makes sure that your screw is going to go in straight instead of at an angle. And you don't want your uh, press board under here to chip. Um, just be careful when you're drilling through, especially if you have your dishwasher right on the other side. Make sure you don't go through too far and drill into your uh, dishwasher. That would be that would suck. All right, I've got my uh, water filter mounted right up there. It's nice and sturdy. Um, I did make sure that the canister is nice and tight in there in case, in case it rattled loose during shipping, so make sure that's nice and tight. My fittings are good and tight. There's my input side. There's my output side. And like I said, I left a nice, nice gradual loop so there's no kinking in here that goes up to the uh, dispenser. Um, so I'm going to turn the water on now, check for leaks, and I'm also going to run quite a bit of water through the filter to make sure anything uh, like charcoal or anything. I'm not sure what style. This may be a charcoal filter. I need to look at that, obviously. Um, but if it is a charcoal style filter, I want to get any kind of sediment out of there before I start actually drinking it. So we're going to run quite a bit of water through there to flush it, and then we should have some nice clean drinking water. <laughs> We have water flow up here. I'm gonna let this water uh, flow for a little while. What's really nice about it is this is, you can turn it. I uh, have this aimed and it actually works perfectly because the stream hits directly in the center of my drain. That's really nice. Um, I didn't even plan for that. But here's the on off right here, very convenient. It's very easy to turn um, and it is variable. So if you just want a little bit or if you want to go full blast. Um, so I'm gonna let this run for a little while. Um, I've already checked for leaks under here. Everything looks good. Nothing's dripping. Um, that's just a little sawdust from where I drilled. Uh, but I'll keep an eye on it for leaks and stuff. Um, but everything looks good so far. So, uh, yeah, um, I'm going to let it run for a little while, and then we'll do a taste test. All right, here's our two water samples. Um, this one is the filtered one, and this one is just straight out of the tap. Um, this little stuff that looks like uh, dust or whatever in there, that's just air bubbles. There seems to be more air bubbles in this side, which makes sense if it's being more agitated in the water filter. But I don't see any kind of sediment or anything, so I think the real uh, difference is going to be a taste test. So I'm going to have my son come down here, do a blind taste test, and tell me which one is which. This is from the milk so that's the filtered one? This is the filtered one. Yeah. Awesome. All right. I will say that install was a success. Um, very happy with this dispenser and the filtration system. My son could clearly tell the difference between the tap water and the filtered water. So that's going to be awesome. This is going to be nice because we usually always drink bottled water. And I don't even know. We went through a lot of bottled water, which adds up very quickly. I'll bet you the savings just in bottled water will pay for this sucker in maybe six months or less. Um, which is awesome because not only uh, can we use this filtered water for drinking now, but we can use it for cooking, for giving to the dogs, for making coffee and tea. Everything that we're drinking will come out of this filter now, and this will just be for washing dishes and stuff. So awesome. I love this. Highly recommend you guys get it. The price point is great. Installation went great. The kit was awesome. Um, you can really tell 
the quality of these kits. Um, I'm, I'm very happy with this system. You could see the extra detail that the company put into the mounting. And of course, this is not sponsored. This is just, just another product I got on Amazon. Um, but I like how they gave you the mounting template, the hole drilling template if you needed to. Um, they marked the tubing, all those little details. That's signs of a quality company. Um, so very happy with this product. We'll see you guys on the next one.